Hello guys, today I'm going to explain to you how to use Fetch. Fetch is quite a simple way to make requests. So, <clears throat> first of all, I, I'm going to create my server with Express. I set the static files to the public folder. In my public folder, I have the home.js file and the index.html file. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna create a road API with the get method and when it's requested I'm gonna send successful request. Then I'm gonna create the road post with the post method. I'm gonna parse the data that they sent to me and after that I'm gonna return the data parse in a JSON. In the index.html file that is in the public folder uh, it's a simple file, just a template, the simple template. And then I'm gonna source the home.js file. And in the home.js file, I have the actual thing. So, <clears throat> uh, the most common example is a get request. Uh, it just, you just will. You, you just will do uh, the fetch function and in the parameter you're going to put um, the URL of the the URL of the request and that's all that's the fetch and that's all uh, as you can see uh, fetch is a promise if you don't know what's a promise you can google it and after come back to the video so, a promise resolves and reject. If it's resolved, it is going to execute the then methods. So, with the then, um, it returns the rest, the response. Uh, the, this is a, a response, a response object. I am going to leave a link in the description also so you can check what a response object is. Um, then, uh, okay, I got the, I mean, I don't know how to explain this, but in the argument I have the response object and the fetch return the response object. Then in the function I return the rest.tex. Uh, that's the method of the response object. So this method returns the body of the response in plain text. After that, I add another then method. Uh, in this then method, I have another argument that is a text. Uh, I, I, I don't know how to explain this, but the result of this will be passed to this. And then with this, I am going to console log the plain text of the response. Um, that's all. <laughs> Sorry, I can't explain it in a better way. Then <clears throat> uh, we are going to experiment with another type of request uh, with a post request, but it's a little more complex, not too much. Um, so I'm going to create an object. Let's say I want to send this object as data. So in this object I have the first property set as Joshua and the last property set like Rodriguez. Then I need to have a const. Ah, okay, I need to have an option object and in this options object I'm gonna have the method that will be passed the headers I want to go in and the headers is another object containing k value header so in this case I'm gonna use content type header and the value will be application JSON if you don't know what header to put you just can search in the MDN web docs uh, HTTP headers, response headers, request headers, and so on before doing this. 
and then the body property the body property I'm gonna strangify the object this JavaScript object so for that I'm gonna use json.strangify and the object and this will return a json string uh, and I can actually pass that as the body then uh, I have a message you can pass any type of body data most common is URL encoded in my case I'm going to use application JSON but you need to set the proper headers to let know the server how to manage it right so in my case I'm setting the headers content type application JSON to let the, the server know that it needs to interpret it as a JSON then I'm gonna execute this in the first argument I'm gonna pass the URL window.location.origin is my URL and then in the second argument I'm gonna pass the options that is this um, you can change the name of the property because its fit set is I don't know already defined so you just need to set the value of the options you are going to use and um, as I say fetch uh, will return a promise and I uh, once it resolves it will execute then methods and um, in the first argument I'm going to put the response object and then I will execute and return res res.json and this will return the JSON of the body right after doing that um, or, or we'll parse the JSON of the body after doing that uh, with this value that will be returned I'm gonna grab it in this other argument and then I'm gonna log it with this also if you don't know how promise and arrow functions works please google it because you will not understand this if you don't know how to how to use arrow functions or how to use promise right uh, with the end of this example um, I'm going to execute it just let me change the folder sits fetch Okay, once in the folder, log in the JS to execute the server. And um, once the server is running, I'm going to um, load the server. And as you can see, um, the body is check the console. And in the console, I have uh, the response is successful request uh, for the first request. As you can see here in the first request, I just wanted to log the response then in the second request the post request as you remember i got an object of the um, object of the response of the server so uh, as you can see oh it's the same as this yeah of course because in the server i just parse the the body and then return a json of it but if I want, I can just return, let's say, uh, first name, first, uh, Pepe, and then last, Molina. So if I do this, uh, run the server again, I will get Pepe Molina no matter the thing so that's how it works if you don't know this also uh, you need to learn a little bit of Node.js and Express but the main thing of the and the purpose of the video is the fetch function in the client side that's all I hope it's useful bye bye